able to take something that's been disposed of for the past 30 years and three different sites and turn it into a beneficial energy source for the residents around here. So it, it's been a really exciting process. A project like this is good for the environment, it's good for the community, and it's good for our member customers. Uh, this methane to megawatt project really doesn't get any better than what this is. United Power is a, an electric distribution company and we don't typically get into generation projects. We have a uh, wholesale supplier, Tri-State Generation and Transmission, that we purchase our power from. But Tri-State does allow us to uh, do limited amounts of our own generation. And what the criteria for projects that might come into our office is that, uh, first of all, it has to have, be a benefit to all of our members. Uh, another thing is it has to be a local type of project. And probably the third thing is if it's a renewable project, we are under a legal requirement with the state of Colorado to have a certain percentage of our, uh, of our generation done with renewables. And this particular project uh, actually meets all of those criteria. Well, this facility is actually unique. It's run by three landfills. One is an older closed landfill to our, our west. So all three landfills have gas extraction systems and independently all three systems are combined into one pipeline that comes to this facility. Gas is produced from landfills through a natural anaerobic decay process. There are bacteria in the waste mass that actually break the waste down into carbon dioxide and methane. Methane being natural gas is what we actually capture uh, and utilize and burn in these engines. The, the trash continues to come in, which is great for the uh, continuing generation of, of the electricity here. And it's really just maintaining that well field to make sure that I can always continuously pull that good gas out. So we're constantly out there tweaking the, the wells and making sure that we get that high quality gas for these guys. Uh, this project is operating today at about three megawatts. United Power has an annual peak load of about 300 megawatts. So today it provides about 1% of our peak load uh, needs. On an annual basis, it will meet about 2% of our total United Power energy requirements for all of our member customers. And when it gets up to its full capacity of almost 5 megawatts, hopefully in the next two or three years, it will supply almost 3% of our total systems energy requirements uh, for all of our member customers. And that's fairly significant. Well, solar and wind are a great renewable source, but as, uh, as we all know, the sun only shines for certain hours during the day and the wind only blows at certain times. So it becomes a very uh, intermittent source of energy for the utility, and it's really not controllable or, or really you can't count on it. Um, this, this plant being a baseload plant running 24 hours a day is, is something that we can control, it's something that we can count on, and it really does help to stabilize our energy sources and our rates in the long run. It's been on the radar for probably, gosh, seven or eight years. Uh, we've been wanting to, to be innovative, you know, that's our, that's our drive as a board is to be visionary and look into the future and see what's coming, and we've, we've had projects like this on the burner vision vision wise for probably seven or eight years and yes absolutely it's one of our high priorities now is to is to be just as energy efficient as we can. Erie's building our creds as a sustainable community we do it in most of uh, how we go about our business meaning when we build a new facility we look to strive for the equivalent of LEED certification. There couldn't be a more outstanding project than to offset the cost that it takes to power half the homes in Erie than this project right here. It benefits the community because it's, it reduces greenhouse gas emissions, it, uh, it provides local jobs, and uh, it produces energy that would otherwise be manufactured or produced from um, other carbon fuels like coal and, and natural gas. And, uh, so this is a very clean uh, conversion for electricity. A lot of times when people, I'm out in the state and folks will ask me about where are the utilities most innovative? United Power sincerely always comes to mind. Sustainability is really what my grandfather used to call it being frugal. It's about using a resource until it's used up, until you can't do anything else with it. And that's what this project is all about. It's about energy sustainability. It's about not, use, not letting that methane gas just escape into the atmosphere, but instead to use it to power half the town 
uh, that, it, that it's next door to.